produce vegetables at the moment, but could. Vegetables are also scarce in the neighboring towns. You will quickly realize that when you trade. And since vegetables are high on the list, they have a big meaning for smaller towns. So, vegetable cultivation seems to be a good idea. Close this dialogue now and open the construction menu for this. Uh, construction menu? What's that then? In the first section of buildings you can construct are town buildings like residentials or chapels. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to that in the next lesson. You can find production businesses in the second section. The darkened businesses can't be built here. The conditions for that are missing. If you move the camera to the town of Nekokli, south of Cartagena, you can see how the possible businesses change. Hey, Cartagena, or not? Jetzt. Ähm, ich würde gerne Tabak oder so das oder das bauen. Aber. Hm. Was soll ich machen gerade? Jetzt habe ich vorher einmal gefragt. Wie gesagt, ich würde ja gerne das da bauen. Aber kann ich ja nicht. Abreißen, bauen. Und näher angeben. Wie kann ich das bauen hier? Vielleicht. Hm. Ach hier unten, ich gehe. Of course, you can't just build anything anywhere. First of all, you need a trade permit, so that you can trade and your fame increases. Only then you can get a building permission for businesses. If you even want to construct town buildings. You have to get the town administration rights from the Viceroy. Now take a look at Cartagena to see the possible building sites for vegetable cultivation. Select the business and zoom in close to the town until building sites in different colors become visible. The plots are divided into two colors. Rather negative and neutral. Gray fields mean disadvantages. Okay. Move the focus to such a field. You can see that the operation would have a negative effect on the satisfaction of the residents in several residential areas. There are no negative factors on the neutral fields. There you should now build a vegetable farm. Good. The construction contract is given. Here you can see which construction materials are needed and how much these materials and the construction costs. Uh, and then? You don't have to worry about the construction workers, but they can only start working when the construction commodities are in stock in the town. You can help with this if necessary. Close the construction menu again and move the focus to the business you just commissioned. In the info area, you can see who owns the building and if there are any commodities missing for construction. If so, you can either get them and sell them to the town or you can wait until another merchant did. Okay. Without workers, nothing works, of course. Otherwise, you would have to harvest the carrots yourself. Open the town dialogue by selecting an empty field or a town building. Here you can see how many job seekers there are in the town currently. They come with okay. the treasure fleets from Europe to the town of the Viceroy, and from there they are distributed via trade. Nur English is doof. Naja, ich, ja, ich guck gleich, wenn ich morgen aufnehmen soll, guck ich mal auf Deutsch anstellen kann. Aber erstmal habe ich es nur auf Englisch gestellt. <lacht> so, ich werde jetzt mal reinkommen ins Spiel. Ich verstehe es schon. The satisfaction in the town must be at least 40 percent. This is really not a problem. But as towns get bigger, the demands of their inhabitants grow. Einige Spiele spiele auf Englisch lieber als auf Deutsch manchmal. Und das ist echt egal auf Deutsch Englisch spiele. Wenn es Deutsch geht, mache ich es Deutsch. Wenn nicht, dann mache ich es halt Englisch. Ich habe kein Problem damit. Heute mache ich einen kleinen Test noch, nur ob es funktioniert das Spiel und wie es funktioniert. So als Grundlagen habe, damit ich nicht ganz aufgeschmissen bin, wenn ich es dann richtig spiele. If you really are the administrator of a town, as it is the case with your hometown, nobody else builds buildings but you. 
So you have to provide enough housing. Yeah. Okay. On the contrary, if you are not the administrator, you have to wait until the town is doing well. Ich kann Englisch genauso gut wie ich kann Deutsch besser als Englisch, aber es ist nicht schwierig für mich Englisch. Geht alles. Aber ich werde gucken, dass ich es auf Deutsch stelle mal. Aber dann erst mal. Your farm is now operational and has all the workers. Now switch to the production tab and select vegetables. Here you can see the vegetable production of the town. Your businesses are also a part of it, and from tomorrow on, you can see which commodities your new business produces daily. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't have your own warehouse in the town, the produced vegetables will be sold to the town daily at the current price. As long as your business is running efficiently, and the town is not drowning in an oversupply of veg, of course, you can prevent oversupply by selling the commodities to other towns yourself. For example, by using trade routes, vegetables are cultivated. Other commodities such as iron, such a weaving mill is needed right now in Cartagena. Get to work! In Cartagena? There oben. Cartagena ist aber woanders, oder? Gehen wir doch hier oben oder nicht, oder wie aber. Ja, die Patagena, oder? Und ich habe gerade Patagena. Portobello. Patagena ist ruhig gerade. Patagena. Hm, wo ist Patagena? Jetzt hat meine Stadt verloren. Gibraltar. Da bin ich jetzt gerade. Speed this up. Now leave the construction menu and select the weaving mill to see its production. Here you can see what raw materials you need for your cloth production. Okay. Well, as long as you don't have a warehouse in the town where the commodities are well, in stock, the business automatically buys the required cotton from the town as needed and sells the produced cloth back to the town. And the lesson on the basics of production is already over. Now. Auch erledigt. <lacht> das meiste habe ich glaube ich hier schon gemacht. Die meisten Sachen. You have already learned how to boost production in the towns. Außer kämpfen. But in towns like your hometown, which you manage yourself, you also have control over the living conditions. Ey, was ist das denn? Jetzt zeigt mir schon wieder nur einen, einen Zuschauer an, obwohl es mehr Zuschauer sind. Verstehe ich nicht. Egal. Directly in the first category, you will find all buildings that do not produce commodities. They create living space. Increase the satisfaction of the inhabitants or attract more workers to the town. Move the cursor over the buildings and see the information about them. Kirchen, brauchen die Wachen und Bier haben die und Kirche haben. Bierkirche und Marktplatz. Okay, schön. Und jetzt soll ich dann Kirchen bauen, ja? Bier, all die. Ja, Bier bauen. As you can see, many buildings have positive effects on other buildings or even the whole town. The most important building, besides the businesses, is of course the residential area. Select it because you should build one. A residential area can accommodate a lot of people. This is good because most workers have families, children, partners, old people, etc. Only about every fourth inhabitant works at all. 
so we need four times as much living space as workers. Otherwise, okay. no new people will come to the town. Oh, yeah, yeah. Schon klar. Aber wie soll ich das bauen? Und das muss ich gerade schon. If you look at the possible building sites for residential areas in Port Royal, you will see different colors. These indicate whether there are advantages or disadvantages for the building site. This coloring means that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. Move the cursor over one of these fields to see what the advantages are and where they come from. Here, the reasons are the tavern and the chapel. Okay. If they are nearby, the popularity of a residential area increases, and it can grow much bigger. But nobody likes to live near cultivation or mining companies. There's too much hustle and bustle. Okay. Sometimes there is also noise and stench. So the satisfaction of the residents decreases. And such negative influences even add up. Okay, you tell me. Cleared. Find a good place for a residential area and commission it. The situation is different with handicraft businesses. Here, residential areas have a positive effect because the workers have a short way to work. But also, companies that supply the right raw material for the craft have a positive effect. Choose the brewery for once. The most productive building sites for a brewery are located near residential areas and grain farms because the workers then have a short distance to work and grain is needed for brewing. Session. Now build a brewery. Very good. <laughs> By the way, if a crafting business needs more than one resource, <laughs> That's it like will one. receive an additional bonus for each and another building has a positive effect on production. The tool maker. Select it. With the tool maker, you can make nearby mining operations like the coal mine more efficient. I think you have understood the principle. Yeah. Just always take a close look at the advantages and disadvantages of such a building site. That's what the information is there for. And as always, one last thing. For many handicraft businesses like the brewery and special town buildings like the tool maker, you need a concession. <coughs> You can get this from your viceroy when you have enough fame. Okay. Oh, erledigt. <laughs> so einfach. Welcome to the Department of Policy and Sammy's School for Emerging Communities. Today's topic, you can always contact the viceroy. Get in touch with him now. Um, da. Ah, you are arriving at the right moment. Here in the first tab, the Viceroy informs you about the current situation. Especially mm -hmm. important for you are the relations to the other nations, because you usually can't sail to the towns of hostile nations. Okay. But the Viceroy also has tasks for you. You don't have to fulfill them, but if you do, you will be rewarded with fame. Not unimportant, because without fame, mm -hmm. you won't get concessions for handicraft businesses. No great vessels and no town administrations. Okay. Good. Now, switch to the fame tab. As you can see, your current fame in England is quite capable of improvement. So but this is normal, because you are still at the beginning of your career. If you have collected enough fame, England regularly sends treasure fleets from Europe to the town of the Viceroy to collect colonial commodities. Here you can see how many commodities <laughs> you like to take with them Grok. next time. And how many of them you George. have sold Hi, George. Hi, George. Hi, wie lange bist du schon am Streamen? Ich habe das eben angefangen, erst eine Stunde, knapp eine Stunde, vier Minuten erst. Weil ich wollte mal kurz reingucken ins Spiel, damit ich morgen besser ins Spiel reinkomme. Und ist einfacher. If you have a fame point in stock was. and enough workers in a town, you can ask the viceroy to manage a town. Weil ich dann mache es die Einführung, damit ich morgen, wenn ich dann länger spiele, länger Stream mache, besser reinkommen ins Spiel. Deswegen mache ich das. 
Wie geht's dir, George? Allgemein bin ich seit sechs Jahren online, also äh, am Streamen. Insgesamt sechs Jahre. Aber ich habe äh, vorher ein anderes Twitch-Kanal gehabt noch. Und äh, YouTube-Kanal habe ich mehrere gehabt. Ich habe zwei Twitch-Kanäle zwei Twitch Twitch gehabt. Zwei YouTube-Kanäle gehabt. Dann habe ich damals noch ordentlich oh, angefangen. Here you can find out which lousy creatures are their viceroys and where they live. Thank God you only deal with your own viceroy. It is not your job. Ich habe sechs Jahre schon am Streamen. Damals noch ganz lang einfach mit mit Retro spielen und äh, nach und nach habe ich schon meinen PC ausgebaut und dann die Internetverbindung war besser geworden und so weiter. Und jetzt bin ich seit so knapp sechs Jahren schon am Streamen insgesamt. All Caribbean pirates the Viceroy learns about are listed here. It is Sitzt for your fame and freedom to hunt down these ungodly. Ja, es wäre natürlich schön, wenn man verleben könnte, aber es ist nicht so einfach heutzutage. Es gibt so viele Streamer und so viele Twitch, also Streamer an sich, ne? Das war eine Schwierigkeit, dann da einen Fuß zu fassen und auch richtig was Erfolg zu haben. Ich habe zwar schon 1170, 1172 äh, Follower hier, aber es reicht bei weitem nicht, um davon zu leben. Leider. Not just any merchant can open a brewery on a whim. For handicraft businesses, combat vessels and special town buildings. Ich nice. Ich hab, ich hab da auch eine Arbeit, habe ich auch noch eine Arbeit natürlich. Aber ich hier was Geld verdienen kann mit Twitch und YouTube und ein bisschen mit Arbeit verdienen, das reicht dann. Das ist auch nicht schlecht, das wäre gut. You got it? Then congratulations on the successful completion of this course. Look around a little more and this lesson will end. Ich habe mal eher zum Just for Fun gemacht, um zwei Spaß dran hatte, erstmal gemacht, ohne dass ich Geld verdienen wollte, erstmal mit. Klar, ich will erfolgreicher werden und bekannter werden und mehr zu, äh, Follower haben. Aber naja. Port Royal. Weil finde ich. Sehr gut, ja, die ist gut. Ich habe alle Teile gespielt. Eins, zwei, drei habe ich schon gespielt und das Spiel vier. Ich kenne das Spiel an sich schon. So allgemein kenne ich es. Okay. Aber das wird deine Reputation mit dem Viceroy And thirdly, there are convoys of other nations when there is war with them. If you got yourself a letter of marquee beforehand, such attacks are legal, because you can then act on behalf of the Viceroy. It's called politics. Politik, Herr Here you can activate the convoy's patrol mode. In this mode, the convoy monitors its surroundings at sea and attacks all enemy convoys on its own. Activate the mode now. Soon the pirate Calico Jack will pass by here and your convoy will attack him. Then you can choose if you want to join the fight or if you want your convoy to fight on its own. Ist auch unbasiert, der Kampf, soweit ich weiß. This side will alert you to an incipient naval battle. Selected in time to join the battle. If you wait too long, the battle will be fought automatically. Here you will be informed about the convoys that are going to fight against each other. Vier, On the zwölf, left is 13. always your convoy. Links On meine? the right, the convoy of the opponent. Okay, der steckert sich. Aber ich habe mehr. Hey. Achso, das bin ich. Aber ich keine Kanonen. The most important factor is the approximate fighting strength of the convoys. Okay, der stärker als ich, auf jeden Fall. stronger convoy will win. Pirates often have no interest in destroying a convoy completely. They want commodities and they cannot plunder a destroyed convoy or bankrupt merchants a second time. So if things turn bad, it is advisable to simply capitulate. Now, choose that you want to participate in the battle. 
Doch jetzt äh, runden wir sie das Ganze, das weiß ich nämlich nicht. Du bist jetzt in der Mitte eines Kampfes und du kannst dich involviert werden. Die Daten von deinem Konvoi sind auf der linken Seite, die Daten von deinem Opponent auf der rechten Seite. Deine Vessel sind unten oben. Mhm. Ja, und jetzt? Die Naval-Battle wird in Rounds in Rounds. Each Round, alle Vessel haben einen Turn once. Das bedeutet auch, zum Beispiel, dass wenn du mehr Vessel hast als dein Opponent, You will have more turns. Mhm, logisch. Das Spiel ist mir jetzt zu viel taktisch. Taktik. Ich baue dann lieber. Okay, ja, mache ich auch gerne bauen. <lacht> Öl. Viel Dank für die Info. Vielleicht gucke ich morgen mal rein. Wie gesagt, ich habe es auch äh, verlinkt. Mein ähm, Wochenplan, also mein Streamplan. Ich habe einen Streamplan reingebaut. Und, uh, ja. When it is your turn, one of your vessels is selected and highlighted in the display. If you have other vessels that have not performed any actions this round, wir freuen uns dabei. Wir haben heute spiele ich nur ganz kurz mal reingucken, damit ich morgen noch besser spielen kann. Wenn ich so Schwierigkeiten mit dem Einstieg habe, das Ganze, das spiele ich heute ein bisschen. On your active vessel, the hit points are displayed here. The more sections the bar contains, the more hit points a vessel has. Zwei, drei, If a vessel vier. loses all zwei, hit drei, points, drei, it sinks. Vier, drei, vier. Okay. Interessant. In addition, your active vessel will also show how much damage a broadside is likely to cause. The cannons play an important role here, but also the sailors. If the number of sailors falls below half of the maximum possible, okay. the damage is reduced as well. Hier, the effective strength of the crew is displayed. Das ist der da. It is mainly determined by the sailors on the vessel, but also the type of vessel plays a role. The strength of the crew is important in naval boarding. The greater the superiority of a crew, the greater the probability of success in naval boarding. Mhm. Each vessel has movement points, Drei depending Punkte. on the type of vessel. Drei. For each movement ja, point, Drei. a vessel can move one field in its direction of travel. Ja. The maneuvering points of a vessel are also dependent on the type of vessel. A turn of 30 degrees costs point. one point, Wenn so a full turn would require 12 George. points. However, A vessel may use a maximum of four points per the fields that your vessel can reach are marked green. Now select one of these fields to move your vessel. You can also move your vessel several times per turn as long as it still has enough points. As soon as you do not want to or cannot perform any more actions with the current vessel, select end turn to end the turn for the current vessel. Then your vessel cannot be selected anymore this round. Now it is the turn of Calico Jack. He also selects a vessel of his choice and performs movements and actions with it. Okay. The cross on a vessel indicates that it can no longer perform any action during this round. Now move your next vessel. If you select a red field, your vessel will move into position and fire a broadside at the enemy. A vessel can fire both broadsides per turn. You can mix movement and actions as you like. You can plunge into the battle alone now, but I still have a few important hints for you. Take a look up here at the strength ratio of the two convoys. Okay. The bigger the green bar, the higher the chance that you will win. If you are sure that you will win the battle, you can have it evaluated automatically. At the moment, I have disabled this feature, but later you can see an evaluation here. You can accept or reject it and return to the battle. Another important point revolves around the hmm. tactics that are available to you in battles. First, there are the vessel's tactics. Each vessel provides a tactic to the convoy depending on the type of vessel. This tactic can be used as often as you like, but with cooldown periods in between. 
If more than one vessel has the same tactic, this cooldown period is reduced. Okay. There are also captain's tactics. You will receive them during your adventures as a reward for tasks you have fulfilled for towns. Okay, that's all. These sure. tactics are consumed when used, but can be replenished at any time. Simply complete tasks. Which captain's tactics you can use depends on the level of your captain. Some tactics are only for experienced captains. By the way, all tactics are only used on your command, so they do not exist during automatic. Go ahead. I'll get right back to you. Yes. Uh, nine. At any time when it is your turn, you can specify the type of attack for the selected vessel. Solid shots mainly cause damage to the hull. Yeah. <laughs> Canister shot reduces especially the crew of the enemy vessel. This can be important if you want to board a vessel. If you choose this type of attack, the crew will prepare for the naval boarding of another vessel. The greater the strength of your crew compared to the crew of the enemy vessel, the higher the probability that the naval boarding will su If a naval boarding maneuver succeeds, both vessels will be suspended until the end of the battle. If the maneuver fails, the attacking vessel will lose one turn. Yeah, yeah,